Hey everybody, today's episode is all about pumpkin makeovers. Yes, that's right. We're all starting to get out our pumpkins in our bins, in our garages, wherever, and we're looking at them and we love them so much, but sometimes they just need a little something something to spruce them up each year. Some people love the traditional orange colors. Some people are moving over into whites and other colors. So it's all a preference to you. So we are going to take some of these pumpkins here and turn them into something spectacular. Now, wherever you got your pumpkins, they could be from Dollar Tree or anywhere, Walmart, Target, whatever. I'm going to use that and some things from Dollar Tree to help me spruce them up. I can't wait to get started. So let me introduce myself. Welcome to Station KDIY Channel 146. I'm Susie, and this is Susie's Stuff. I'm so glad you stopped by, and don't forget to subscribe. And if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. So sit back, grab a snack, and relax, and let's DIY. Come on. All right, here we go with our Versa pumpkins. And if you want to spruce anything up, just grab some beautiful spray paint. That's right. I've got these three here, nutmeg, true navy, and some white. And all of those came from Walmart. And I just taped up the stems and popped them right outside and spray painted them. Look how gorgeous those colors are. And now all I'm gonna do is take some of this gold paint it's the folk art metallic gold and i'm just going to paint the stems i gave them a couple of coats and look how beautiful they turned out and you could just leave them just like that you could even do them any color stem that you like but I just wanted to make it a little dramatic. So I have these burlap leaves from Dollar Tree and I just threw them on the top. Just threw a little hot glue on there, scrunched them up and look how dramatic that they are. I love how they turned out. And again, you don't have to add anything to it. You could just leave them alone, but look how gorgeous. I love these colors together. So go out and find some beautiful spray paint colors that you like and turn it from drab to fab. I love them. All right, this pumpkin came from Walmart and the stem was gone and the lady gave me half off for it. And I've had it for a while. I didn't know what to do with it. So I'm like, okay, let's get some platters from Dollar Tree and plates and then let's make a little tray or a tear tray. So I took it all outside and spray painted it white and this is how it turned out. I love it, but there was something about it. I was just like, you know, I don't know if I wanna do a tray or not. So I may just do a one tier. And remember, and I totally forgot, that when you use spray paint with those styrofoam, it kinda, I don't know, melted a little bit, but I was happy with it. I thought it looked kinda cool. So what I wanna do is take this plate away and use this faux wood plate from Dollar Tree. I loved it so much better and I just hot glued it right on. But before I do that, I'm going to take some of this Elephant Waverly Chalk Paint with a super, super dry brush and I'm just going to kind of give it some definition and don't be afraid because if you get too much like I did just there, uh, you can take some white and just play around and get it until you love it. And here I'm just taking some white paint and going over some of the gray areas that I had too much and I'm just getting it just like I want. And look how beautiful that turns out. Just enough definition and shading that makes it look so realistic. 
So while I'm doing that, I'm just going to take a few seconds here to tell you how much I've missed everyone. I know I've been kind of uh, not around for the past three weeks. I have not been feeling well, just had a few health issues, nothing serious, but I just wasn't able to craft like I wanted to. And then other issues in life come up. So I'm just so excited to be back and uh, be with you all. I've missed speaking with you all and I love all your comments. So now let's have the big reveal of this platter. How cute is this? I love it for a wonderful little Halloween party, gathering, get together. I just think it's so fun and I got these cookies and things from Walmart. Ooh, ooh watch out, someone might steal it. But enjoy these pumpkin platters on your table this year. This pumpkin makeover is one of my favorites. I got this pumpkin from Walmart. I do love the beautiful green and the sparklies, but I just wanted to make it over. And so what I'm using is this faux leather from Dollar Tree. Now I'm using the brown, you could use black, you can use white, whichever colors that you like. I am cutting them into strips. And um, I think one of the things, if you're gonna do this, uh, is what I learned is I made them just a little too small. I think I would make the squares a little bit bigger because it did take me about a roll and a half of the faux leather to cover it because you do overlap them a lot, but you just get your hot glue gun and just start putting them all down sort of in a diagonal shape or whatever pattern that you like and, and just keep going. It comes out really, really pretty. And if you are new here to my channel, I would love it if you'd subscribe. Just click the button down below and then click on the alerts. Then you'll be notified when I upload a new episode. So also, if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. It helps YouTube recommend my channel to others. Uh, the comments, the likes, and the, um, what else is it? The views, those all help recommend my channel so others can uh, join in and have some fun. So here I am just finishing it up and look how it turned out. I love it. And so I just popped the stem back on. I was happy with the stem. Again, you could paint it white, gold, and then I just used a little bit of raffia to add to it and we're done. Look how darling. Here it is. How cute is that? I just love the rustic look. I think there's a couple of pieces in there I needed to maybe go back and hot glue down. They were kind of sticking out, but this was so much fun and I think it would be so cool with white leather. What do you think? pumpkin makeover. This is an old, old pumpkin that I have had probably 10 years or more. It came from Hobby Lobby and I've always put it on my front porch and not this year. I would always kind of put it with some uh, real pumpkins. So I thought I want this pumpkin to be on my mantle and so I just got some of the acrylic paint from Dollar Tree. Thought I'd give it a try. It's okay. It just doesn't have great great coverage you just need to paint it a lot but I just couldn't stand it I had to get out my Waverly chalk paint in white and give it that last coat so now I'm using some of the new faux leather words from Dollar Tree they are so cool love them and I'm just kind of putting them in sort of a I don't know crossword looking way and they came out so cute and I love the, the couple of colors that they have, sort of a dark leather and a light beige leather. So get that hot glued on there. And then I thought, hmm, this would be cool if I could turn it around and maybe make a two for, a two for one. And I used these little jewels from Dollar Tree. I know you've seen them. And so I just made a little darling jack-o'-lantern face. How cute is that?
I was so excited how it came out. You can design any face that you like. So now I've got, I grabbed some of my ribbon that I've had forever and whatever ribbon that you think would go well with it, some beautiful um, burlap ribbon would be pretty. And then I got some raffia from Dollar Tree. So I'm just putting these two together. And since it is a two for pumpkin, like I need uh, something for both sides, I thought, hmm, let me grab these magnets that I had forever. And you always pick up stuff and you're like, when am I gonna use it? I don't know, today is the day. So I put a little magnet on the back of the uh, bow and then I put two on the stem. So then I can just change out the ribbon from one side to the other. All right, let's get ready to snap it right on there and ta-da, look how cute. I love this. You can use this type of pumpkin now and then turn it around for Halloween and then turn it back for Thanksgiving. I just think it is so great and I hope that you can find lots of uses for it. Here's how it came out. It is just so pretty. I love this. What a great gift too. And, and next time you're in uh, Hobby Lobby, I'm sure that Walmart has them. Just a gigantic pumpkin. How cute is that? Halloween is around the corner and I'm ready for both Halloween and Thanksgiving. And it looks perfect with my leather pumpkin too. What do you think? Right, we are gonna look at this pumpkin I actually created last year. I just got some Dollar Tree little stick'em strips and added that to it. I thought it was so cool. And then I've got this 99 cent pumpkin that I'm gonna spray paint and we'll come back to those in just a little bit while it's drying. So I've got this pumpkin that I have no idea where I got, but I love the color of it and didn't wanna change it. So all I'm gonna use is this beautiful ribbon. I tell you, ribbon can transform uh, a pumpkin into something fabulous. And I'm using a bow technique that my friend Dave from Dave's Recent Things showed us how to do. And so I'm gonna link his uh, little video down below so you can see how he does it. But it, it is so simple, just making all these loops and then pulling them apart and kind of fidgeting and fixing it and getting it like you want. But I love it so much. So thanks Dave for teaching me how to make this bow. So look at that, how gorgeous is that? You just hot glue it right on and boom, this pumpkin is already made over. I love it because of the, um, the zebra stripes it really kind of puts it into a Halloween feel as well. So I love that one, how easy. And now back to this pumpkin, all I did was add some raffia and one of those little jewel pieces uh, that I got from a website called um, Bedazzled. I can't remember, I will find it and put it in the description box. You can order a bunch of them um, and they are very inexpensive, but they look so cool. So this little pumpkin is so cute. Once again, I just wanted to leave it uh, the color that it was. I liked that crackling effect, but the stem was giving me a pain. So I just got out my gold uh, marker and just kind of painted that to sort of fix it all up and make it kind of pop out. And I'm using this wired ribbon here. It's kind of a mm, satin ribbon and uh, a little sort of orange button. How cute! And really, that's all that you need. I did add one other little piece that I got from that Bedazzled site. And look how cute that came together. So we'll look at them in a little bit. But now my warm caramel painted pumpkin is all dry now. And what I'm gonna do is sort of age it 
and I'm going to use uh, this liquid shoe polish from Dollar Tree. If you watched my channel before, I love using this stuff for small projects. It really is fun. You just open it and start going. You don't need a paintbrush or anything like that. So I went all over it with the black. And I should have waited till it dried just a little bit, but I just went over it with the white. And then you'll see me here in a minute using some of the brown. So I just kind of mixed it all together to give it a really rustic look. And then I just took what was on there, dry brushed it, and it kind of blended it all together. And um, I do fix that face. It didn't come out just right, but I just kept fiddling with it and uh, fixing that up. So now I'm going to work on the little handle. I just got some faux leather from Dollar Tree, took some little pieces and just wrapped it around the handle. And as you can see, I fixed up the face a little bit. And uh, then I got my X-Acto knife and some scissors. And I cut out the eyes and the nose and the mouth, but I left the teeth. And I'm also using my gold paint pen to sort of go around um, each of it, sort of highlighting it. And then I give the teeth a lot of gold color. There was a lot of steps to creating this little makeover, but it was so much fun. I really had no idea where I was gonna go with this, but it all just kind of came together. I love it. And then for one of the final pieces, I had some burlap ribbon and I just used that to fill in the eyes. Sometimes I hate that the eyes are uh, there and you can see the inside, um, like the light or the flowers that you put in. And I can't stand that, I hate that. But we kind of fixed it using the burlap. I thought that really cleverly concealed the things that were inside. So I actually am using a push light from Dollar Tree and then some of these beautiful fall floral pieces from Dollar Tree as well and then just throwing that in there and um, just arranging it and turning on the light. It's going to be a surprise. And ta-da! Look how cute! First, I'm going to show you the ones with the ribbons that I made. And I love how it was so simple, so fast to just jazz those up. And um, this is just my little display. So be careful. I had my candle almost caught that raffia on fire. <laughs> but look at my little pumpkin. Isn't he so cute? There's a couple of places that got a little scratch that I need to go back and fix. But all in all, I love how this turned out. I love the burlap behind the eyes. It is so, so pretty. And this would be great sitting in your window Halloween night. I love how this came out. What a makeover it was. And this last little pumpkin, I actually made it last year. All I did this year was add some raffia on top. And last year I had put on uh, some of those little letter stickers from Dollar Tree and some of the beautiful jewels from Dollar Tree. And now I'm just adding even more jewels. And you can put or write anything that you like, maybe the word boo or happy Halloween, whatever, and just add some more jewels. I think this would be really fun for your kids to maybe personalize their own little pumpkin. You could do it on a real pumpkin too. And then I just took it outside and sprayed it with some quick drying polyurethane glossy coat. I just love that gloss look and it came out so cute. So have fun personalizing your little pumpkin today. What a transformation. And I hope you enjoyed all of my pumpkin makeovers today. They were a lot of fun. Remember, just simple paint or ribbon 
can transform something into a drab pumpkin into a fab pumpkin. And I hope I've inspired you to come up with some of your own ideas. I know it's fun to sort of change up your decor from time to time, and I love doing the same. I also want to thank you for being very patient with me as I've been out for just a little while, but I am back and ready to go. So I want to thank you for joining me today on Susie's Stuff, KDIY Channel 146. I'll see you next time. Bye.